excuse the lamp in the background, but <sighs> I guess I'm just gonna, I want to make a video today. I haven't made one in a while. Um, I'm just going at my own pace with something that um, sort of happened uh, in my life right now, which is more of a, just a period where I, I know I need to have more time for myself and not focus on anything that's, um, I don't know, gonna distract me from my healing process, I guess. So I know what's best for me and I know that a break was needed. Um, I don't know if I'll be as consistent as I was, um, but I'll try my best to get something to you guys. Um, and if it's not a music, if it's not a video, then uh, it's probably pictures or inspiration, like on my Instagram or my blog on Twitter or whatever it may be, or not Twitter, but my blog on Tumblr, whatever it is. Um, I also take pictures in my free time, and I got a lot of them back, so. I'll probably show you guys those, but um, in terms of a full-length video, I just don't know when um, I could say I'll be consistent. I can't give you a day or a time or, you know, to be prepared, but just know I'm here and I'm okay. <laughs> um, there's, so much, there's so much glitter all over me, but um, hopefully... Hopefully you guys enjoy this. I've already braided my hair. Um, I had put on some makeup, but I didn't like how much I had on, so I think I'm gonna rehydrate my face with some moisturizer, and I'll come back and I'll show you my makeup look, and then I'll just take you on with my day, because I'm just gonna do like a vlog style vlog, just kind of like day in the life type thing, like um, a day in the life of me healing, <laughs> or just living my life while going through some hardships, but um, uh, okay, so I'll, I'll check back in with you guys after I've gotten ready a little bit. Also, excuse the mess, I, um, it's cleaning day, so, yes. Okay, bye!
by saying I was going to get ready, I forgot to pick up the camera. And then I just cooked. I didn't do anything yesterday. <laughs> um, oh, I made a meal plan for me and my, my partner. And I took care of my plants. But that's like an everyday thing that I just do without thinking about it. Um, but I figured I'd just pick up the camera again today and then just take you guys with me again. And like, if I can record it, I can record it. And just give you guys a video. But today is now, uh, today is Thursday, I think. So yesterday was Wednesday, today is Thursday. Um, you guys might see me do something again today. I don't, I'm not even gonna say what it is cause I don't know what it's gonna be. But um, I hope you guys like it. I'm in my garage. I'm my, I have a little refrigerator out here that I share with my partner. And I'm trying to get ice cubes. And I only have five. So I've come down here to make some more. And I can put you guys right here. This seems so crazy. Oh, but hopefully you can see me. I know there isn't a lot of space here. Here I am making ice cubes. I put some water or water to boil. I'm making coffee because I need some energy. I don't know what I'm going to do with that energy. Sometimes I feel like if I say it, it won't happen because I want to make sure that I'm... Here I go again, hiding in my bathroom. <laughs> hiding in my bathroom. Drinking my coffee. And um, I think I'm gonna paint my nails. Two nails. It's a tough day today. Physically tough. Mentally tough. Too mentally tough to support my physical abilities today. But I know we all have those days. I know we all have those days and I'm here to go through it with you and watch my slow process to getting to feel good. I guess I'm gonna sit here and give you guys a plant update. You guys remember when they were just so tiny, barely hanging over the cups? Um, there's some new leaves here um, on some of these plants. Some new leaves coming out. This one was just growing all the way up. Mm. Ah, some tiny ones in there just unraveling. That one's just curly. I'm trying to unfurl. Way back there. This one. There. Mm. There's a new leaf in here. It's gonna spiral out. Um, new ones there and with this remember this plant she's got a lots of new uh, rootage and all I did was put her in there after that was her rough chop right there and I just put her in and she's got new roots spreading here so I'm gonna probably raise the water oh sorry she's got some new roots spreading right here I'm gonna probably raise the water level stick her in that way it touches because right now she's not touching anything just the roots are down there are just grasping the water there's a few here that had started to grow roots but i think i want to put them back in the light um, here's our propagated uh little creation i had given two of these to kamari's mom you can see the new roots the white ones versus the old roots which are the yellowish ones and these new leaves the greenish the bright green ones are the newest ones but she's done really well right there and this is the mother plant she's pretty and green and she's got new leaves there one tiny one very pretty she's 
she said she's doing such a good job. I could cry, she's so pretty. She's, she likes it right there in my shower. <laughs> All right, and this is the newest one I got on Valentine's Day that Kamari got me, and he's already, she's already got a new leaf right here. If I can get closer. This right there was a new leaf. Oh, it's so cute, isn't it? I can't wait for her to get big. It's a little all over our plant. So once the leaves, see the leaves now, they're con, uh, they're concave, kind of like curling into one another. Um, see, I'll show you on this one, maybe it'll be easier. See, they're kind of, they're concave, they, they bend inward. Once they get full, they'll round out like this. And once they sort of bevel out and get convex, then you'll be able to ingest it and take advantage of the aloe vera properties inside of the leaves. And it usually starts with the bottom leaves. They start to get a little thicker first. See how this one is kind of getting flatter? Um, it'll eventually puff up uh, and get more round on the top. And that's when you know you can ingest it. Um, just the internal flesh. But I can't wait till she gets big. She's got her little spikes soft now but how cute all right y'all okay. okay since i was showing you this plant and since she's not touching uh the water with those roots right there at the top i figured i'd put her into a new little vase that i had been keeping for her specifically it's just been on the side of my sink and i want to see i want I, just to give her a new home i guess you know, there's nothing much to it. I'm just gonna fill it up with water and stick her in there to make sure that those specific roots, roots touch at the top when she sits in there. So I just wanted to quickly show you. See if I could do it with one hand. Nice fresh water. All the way to the top. A little bit of room. Okay, and then down here, next to my coffee, and we're like, gotta make some space. Oh, there's these little cups. I'm so distracted. My sister made these when she was young in the pottery class. My dad had actually helped her. Not with these specifically, maybe, but other cups, but she really enjoyed her pottery class, and my dad thought she did so well. It was something they bonded over. She tried it because of him, you know. She and he got inspired her, but these are two little cups that um, my mom had found, and I'm gonna give it to my sister. <coughs> Anyways, here's the little cup here. Don't mind my earrings. <laughs> and this is right here. Okay, now she's, now we can see the rootage is touching. All the way, see now it's submerged this top rooted here. Now it'll produce more roots now that it's covered. And we'll keep her, I guess we'll show her off. Maybe we'll give her a new spot, make her feel special. She's got the promotion, maybe. And we'll put her right here. And we'll remove the wipes. The aesthetic of pleasing here. She's so beautiful. Slightly or as much as you need, bend at the knees. And let's bring the chest over the thighs and just hang heavy. You can go all the way back into plank. Slowly lower yourself with control onto your belly. And the next option is to have your palms of your hands facing each other, lifting your chest off the mat and lower back down so that we are establishing a connection with the lower back here. And let's do one more problem, hands underneath the shoulders, lift your chest off of your mat, really lengthening the lower back here. Try not to compress your lower back as you lift. Keep your elbows into your rib cage and keep them bent. And straighten your elbows here, let the fingers open and step back into downward facing dog. Weight 
your heels out the way one heel at a time you can stay steady legs are bent bring your chest over your thighs and rest one more time breathe into your lungs. walk your hands all the way to the front of your mat come into your tippy toes lift to your tailbone pull your belly in draw your navel in towards your spine and breathe nice deep inhalations focus on the length elongation in your spine here relaxing your neck 